Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and a welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new, brand new, brand new series on Maypole Farms, put out by the same map author that did Riverview. I'm getting quite close with Roy. He's actually a really nice dude. Um, I had to come on here because Riverview is under construction and he is doing an update and in nine days, ready guys, nine days it will be released to the Mod Hub for right when Precision Farming drops. So then it'll go from there and then as soon as they decide to release it, we'll go from there. But it should be available for all platforms. I was able to get a live and in person and in color, a tour by Roy himself, who gave me a tour of the brand new map. And I stopped. I got about 20 minutes in, and I said, I don't want to see anymore. I want to wait. I want to get excited. But welcome, welcome, welcome to Maypole. So we're going to play on this map. We're going to bring back the basics of realism again. Uh, as I told my new friend, South South Central Wisconsin Farmer, he uh, he's part of the inner family now. He is, he friended me up on Steam, and I told him, I said, I'm straight away from the realism, it's time to bring it back. So Fury found his Ford New Holland Fiat 8340, remember, back on Meadow Grove Farm Extended? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Fury's all-time favorite map on 19. This was the tractor we were using, remember? It's only 150 horsepower, so we're going to go back to... Realism. We're going to shut this. The doors work. The, let me show you. Turn signals work. And away we go. We're going to, I'm going to head back to the farm. And I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing. Uh, the nice thing about Maypole is all these hedges can be removed. All the fences can be removed. Uh, everything can be changed around. Everything can be sold. Everything can be done. We have I'll show you when we get back to the farm. I'll show you these videos on this map. Oh, I, ch I want to check something while I'm I got you right on camera. Uh, it's a little delayed. I got to put it back to zero. Um, and that's okay. So I think I'm going to drive with the steering wheel. It's yeah, I got I got to drive with the joystick because it's a little delayed still. I'll fix it um, for next time. I'll try not to jerk it around a little bit, but we're going to head back up here to the farm. Let me give you a, oops, we won't go there. I will go here. Okay. This map has got a ton of fields on it, like over 100. I, I mean, I see 116. I see 121, 122, 126, 128. So pretty close to 130 fields. Now, every one of these fields are got hedges in between, but every one of them can be removed. So what Fury did is I sold the sheep pen, I sold the horse pen, I sold a bunch of sheds, and um, this 86 is our cow pen, 90 is our cow pen. They each hold 700 cows on the main farm. I put down a, I'll show you when we get there, but I combine, I will be combining 84, 85, 67, 66. This will be all one grass field. And I figured it out off camera. It's about 26 acres already. So people who say, oh, these are small fields. Yes, they are. If you play with them the way they are, but all of these, like for example, can be combined into one giant field, all one giant field. This could be cleared and put in all the one giant field. And what's exciting to me is the reason I started playing on this map is I was told that Riverview is going to be the exact same way. So already I'm excited because you can start with small fields and then make them ginormous. You guys will see how much I got to mow. Oh, I got to do something else too. So I got to go times one so now we're gonna it may be a little bit shorter of a video than what i wanted today um but we're gonna go until we don't want to go anymore because i always do that i always put it at 0 0.5 and forget about it <laughs> while i'm setting up my farm because i don't want it to take me a full day we are going to play realistic speeds we are going to play realistic time 
and we are going to go one day months and if it's not enough we'll add it so this is my farm i'm going to jump out here and i'm going to show you i did keep a few of the originals farms but let me show you this cow pen 700 cows and guess what riverview has even more than that that's why i'm excited and i got one there with already got all this built in for us which is our manure heap already built in the robots already built in i put my own silo down there was a silo here i was able to sell it you i bought fuel already uh this was liquid fertilizer storage you can buy it and fill it and then fill your liquid fertilizer these sheds come in game here's our other cow pen on the farm 850 on this one so that's 1550 cows right on our thing uh right on our farm to begin with boom 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 they got a nice pasture huge all of these fences all of these gates can be removed and i i took out three sheds from over here and put my own two small ones in that one and that one and look at the field that we now let me show you i'll get up in the air and i'll give you a quick tour of what i did look at okay so one two three four five fields are now combined into one ginormous grass field <laughs> absolutely epic and see there's forestry there but look at you can cut the hedges out in the middle. That one can be combined with that one to make one giant field. So don't let anybody tell you these fields are tiny. If you kept the hedges up here and all the trees, yes, they're not very they're not very big. They're, they're they rival Old Stream Farms. But look what you can do. All of this will be plowed all the way in. Then you can come over here and look at this. You can add that one, that one, that one, and that one, and make one giant field there. You can all you can go across the whole map and make one field if you wanted. And our and I've opened up our farm quite a bit. Uh, so let me get down here and shut this off. Here. Okay, now each one of these hedges has a post right here. You can see it. You have to own the land. Okay, if you own the land, you can take a chainsaw and cut it down. If you don't own the land, you can take a, um, I used my Brux, but you can take the in-game, uh, stump grinder and just go right down these hedges. Do, 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 and there's no hit markers on them. They're only there for aesthetics. Uh, most of the fields come with these bunch of trees in it, but as you can see on my grass, I took the time and went through and got rid of the first field worth. So that's the cool thing about it. I got these sheds. We are not going to do bales because what Fury's done is because we're going to have so much grass. I decided over here to put in a silage fermenter silage, Stevie Pack, and the grass dryer from Stevie Pack. And right outside our 850 cow pen. Boom, boom, boom. All of, like I said, all of these, these have collisions on them, but they can be removed. What you got to do to remove those is, you see these lamp posts? Now they will give light. See, they give light. But if you take a chainsaw and you own the property, you take your chainsaw, cut them down, these disappear. And you can sell it. You can really sell everything on this farm. And what's exciting to me is, that, and then you can... What you got to do to get rid of the gates is you got to highlight these gates and hit demolish and they go and they disappear. Um, but what I really like is I'm excited about this is incorporating the best of both worlds. It really is. So what this is incorporating is build your own farm as well as playing on a map that's already built for you. Like I didn't have to get rid of these sheds and stuff. I did because I thought. That's how I got a million dollars is I sold the, the sheep pen for 185000 I sold the horse pen, which goes right here. You can see where they were. Um, and this field here was the horse pen. Um, and I sold a lot of the, the sheds that were here to open it up. Because the one bad thing about British maps a lot of times is the, uh, the yards are so tight. And so nobody wants to play on them. But what Roy did, and what an amazing dude, by the way. Um... I've gotten to know, I'm starting to get to know him. Um, 
off camera. And I'm telling you, what a great, great, great dude. Fantastic. So we're going to come over here and we're going to mow. I'm not going to mow there. What I'm going to do, though, right now, is we are going to landscape this uh, and chop this off and make it make it painting and we're going to go concrete I do believe yes and we're going to make this our so that we can back up and whoops <laughs> that's what happens when Fury's going crazy but I'll show you how I fix that it again all right so just so we can mow it um and then we'll figure out how far we got to go down here but that's it that's that'll all change because i gotta plow all this in anyways so like i said i told uh south central with wisconsin farmer that we are gonna bring back the realism so let me unfold that. Oh. oh, every time I hit my button. There we go. A little farther forward. There we go. Now we're back in thing. I was hitting. I don't know why I didn't hit my. Uh, set our cruise. Now you can see we're starting at 841. And we're going to go down here and we're going to keep track of how much we actually do in a half an hour. Okay. So now we're going to. We've mowed 0 0.2. <laughs> 0 0.002. We've played for 14 minutes already. So. Not going to worry about time. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm not going to record for no four hours. But if we go an hour, we go an hour. Everything will be played in cab, realistic speeds, and it will be a running clock. So wherever we leave off, there will be no fast forwarding, no nothing. You guys will see exactly where we left off. And I'm excited about that because I, I, I'm not going to lie. It gets to be a really pain in the butt when you um when you have to like play so far ahead look at that and we're going to use a loading wagon so we don't even have i mean we can wind row this right up real quick but you can see how far we'll, when we get down when we get one pass when we get one headland we'll see how much we've mowed for one headland these fields are going to be ginormous when fury's done with them and it's going to be exciting. And we're going to use the proper horsepower for the proper stuff that we need. So right now I have 150 horsepower. If we only need, you know, um, you know, 80 horsepower to Ted, I'll buy an 80 horsepower tractor. I'm not playing this game of having um, 750,000 horsepower anymore. Um, I've strayed away from the realism and it's really, it really bothered me. Like, I started just trying to go in-game speeds, 5x speed, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's amazing what a weekend off will do for you. It gets you re rejuvenated. But there is a road here, and we can keep the road if we want and plow around the road. I'm just mowing up here uh, for extra grass. But we can keep that road so that we can get to the fields if we wanted. Um, and I'll just plow in that inside part of it. Now I've got to back up because this thing likes to miss when you go around a corner. There we go. 
Oh, see. And because there's no hit markers on it, you can mow right up here and not have to worry about hitting anything. That's the cool thing. This is about the speed you'd mow, 6 to 7 miles an hour, for real, everyone. Like, I'm going to start bringing back the tutorials. I'm going to start bringing back what we need to bring back. Um, we're not going to worry about length of videos. We're going to worry about uh, playing the game the way it should be played and bringing back the fun. Which reminds me, how's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic. I'm hoping, hoping, hoping South Central Wisconsin Farmer can join us. He told me that he's going to try to get his work schedule straightened around. Remember, remember everyone, he is a real-life farmer like Fury was. So he's playing the game strictly for fun. But he right now he's getting ready to plow in some fields for alfalfa for his cows, Aroni, because he's got cows on a real farm. So it would be nice to get him. I can't wait. I'm hoping he can work it out. Um, if he can't, I do understand. As a farmer, you're super busy. Super busy. Super, super, super busy. Um, but uh, if, he can, if he can manage to join us, me and Ranger, on multiplayer, that's what he was, he was excited about. Um, he was excited to join us to help out. And so I'm hoping he joins. He's part of the inner family. Remember, guys and gals, anybody else who's watching this. It... I missed the section. There we go. Double check. Ah, get it on the. I'll get it on the flip side. Um, just remember, all is welcome. We would love to have you. Uh, and you can also keep in mind, you can join the inner family, uh, the inner sanctum, as we call it. Uh, you can friend me up, look me up on Steam. Just look up Free Machine Gaming, and you can. I'm going to back up here. Get this turned the right way. Perfect. Look at us go. It's like almost like we know what we're doing. Um, you can look me up for your machine gaming on Steam. It'll send me a friend request, and I'll either accept or I won't. But make sure that you let me know. Uh, like South Central Wisconsin Farmer, he um, you got to just let me know. Hey, I sent you a friend request. That way, I know it's from our family members, because it's just like with any other social media. I don't want people in there. Any, and I will be. I looked into it today, just so everybody knows. I will be starting a Discord where we can all go on and we can share our um, mods and we can talk um, pretty much about anything. Um, I'll post mod links and things there rather than on the channel. Uh, I've just got a lot of things planned and I'm super excited about it. Now we're going to go around the corner here like this and then we're going to back up because it misses. Because, and it would, too. We're going to back right up into the hedge so we, you can hear the lawnmower change. Cool. We didn't, in, in, in the States, we didn't have many hedges to go around, but we do have barbed wire fences. And if you get too close, it's like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and it tears your lawnmower apart. I know in the UK, you guys have a lot of, now we're going to do this. And we're going to back up right through the hedge there. And we're going to turn her this way. I probably missed it anyways. Um, no, I got it. Sweet. Um, all right. So now. Raise a lawnmower because I don't want them going over the pavement as much as I can. I mean, it won't hurt anything, but.
And as you can see, we've got a lot to mow. It seems to be that the front one is the one that misses when it goes around a corner. Ooh, I didn't want that running over that pavement, but it's all right. It's, uh, we did good on that one. All right. As you can see, I always, whoops, I always stop and check my corners. Until you start getting them squared off. Right now, one pass around one pass was 2.39 acres. <laughs> Isn't that insane? All right, now we're going to get into the real part of it 2.39. Remember that. Oh, which reminds me, how far have we? Oh, 23 minutes. Okay, we're good. I'm going to do a second headland, I think. I'll try to keep this first one around 30 35 minutes, and then after that. We'll go an hour if we have to. We'll go two hours. And like I said, it's going to be real. So I want everybody to understand. I don't want you to get frustrated when it takes us 14, 15 episodes to get through a day. But that represents the true day. Like, um, we can't, you know, if you're playing 5x speed, yes, that's kind of realism, like I said. Because that's what it's set up if you're going to go in-game speeds. But if you're going to go realistic speeds like we're going here, you have to slow down the time. Especially, you guys will realize how actual long it takes. Now, in real life, you can mow 100 acres in a day. You can. Absolutely can. But it's literally no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. you got to go from point A to point B, mow as quickly as you can. No turning around, no nothing. You can't play games. Um, but generally speaking, uh, with our 60-acre field that we had, it would take us, we could mow it in one day, um, but generally we mowed it in two. And that was the truth, because you never get started early. Like right now, it is extremely early in the morning. I never would mow this early in the morning, ever. Um, but I looked at the truth of it all in August. I looked at, okay, and it's sunny. Okay, and which reminds me, let's look at our weather. Okay, see, we got sun all the way through till noon, um, and we don't have any. We got sun the whole day. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll be able to get this grass right up off this field. Um, so you generally wouldn't start mowing until probably early afternoon, like 11, once the dew burns off the grass. But I looked at it like this. I played it off in my head, and I thought, okay, it's August. I don't have a lot of time to spare. I can't just go messing around until 11 or 12 or I'll never get this mowed. So our 60 acres, um, it would generally take us, um, what I'm gonna try to do is catch that. It would take us two days. And that's, and that's being truthful. Now see, once these edges are squared off, everyone, then, as you can see, you don't start missing. And I'm not going to use my uh, vehicle control add-on because this tractor would not have it. Um, this is probably late 80s, early 90s tractor, and they didn't come stock with them then. You had to put what was called the Starfire on them. So, if... The second pass is over two acres. This is probably going to be closer to 40 acres, which is super realistic. Um, but yeah, that's just, you know, that's where we're going to go. And we're going to, um, we're just going to have a lot of fun. And I'm going to play this map until Riverview drops. And like Rory, 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 I keep wanting to call him Rory, but his name is Roy. Like Roy told me today, literally it was this morning, and I'm recording this on Sunday night. Um, let me get my watch out at quarter to 12. And uh, I watched, I went with him live for about 30 minutes today. And uh, like he said, he's going to release it to the Mod Hub for their testing in nine days once precision farming drops. And then after that, uh, Okay, and then I want to get 
take a few seconds and grab this. Shwang. Because we missed it. So it'll give us probably... Uh, I would say uh, they're averaging about six, seven, six to seven days release time uh, for their testing. Um, DJ Goham would know all the answers of how long it takes to do testing. Um, way more than I would. We'll go right around this and catch that edge. Then we'll come back out like that and it should have worked and it did. Ooh, it's almost like Curie knows what he's doing. <laughs> um, so I'm guessing probably 16, 17, maybe three weeks total uh, before we actually get onto that map again. Because I thought I don't want to keep playing on it if a new version's coming and I got to get a new save game and it's going to be super realistic and all that stuff. So, um, you know, listen, on a serious note, we did try sheep. The one thing I was disappointed with sheep is they're too easy uh i talked to a couple of friends of mine um today that are actually raised sheep and they're harder than you think you got to give them bedding like you do cows you got to do what you got to do and they produce manure and uh slurry just like a cow does now i'll show you a little secret here what you got to do is when you go around a corner see how the front mower that's the one that misses. So you want to get your back mower going around, going around, going around. Once you're around the corner, see, you've, you've got it all now. Once you've got it around the corner, then you're going to squeak back over and get it all. See, and if you look behind us, we got it all, all the way around. Now we are... <laughs> Uh, we are going to have to win, bro, this. We know that. We know that. We know how this works. But then I can dump one load in the dryer, one load in the silage maker, and then we will have our... Um, right off the bat there. We will then have our... Total mix ration. I started that back one a little too soon. I got to turn the sensitivity up a little bit on my joystick. Now I'm going to go straight here, and then I'm going to back up. Try to, when, you, when you're using a, a half butterfly like this, you want to try to square off your edges as much as you can because you generally are going to go like right around a corner. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to stop we're going to move over and let the back mower catch it. Then you go back out. And then you want to mow through the edge. And if you look, we didn't even miss any. Now, what's the second pass? Uh, let's go down here. 3.99. Four acres already on two passes. Oh, which reminds me, 31. All right, I'm going to finish it there for this first episode. Oops. Here's the thing I did not do. By the way, this tractor set up weird. You got to, you got to, the tractor's got to run to shut the door. It's weird, weird, weird. Oh, I love that tractor. I want to get a screenshot of that. Yes, yes, yes. And our new fellow mowers is great. So we've mowed four acres already with just two headlands. And we're not even into the major part of the grass. We're still on the out, the grass that isn't part of the field yet. But look at the nice texture on this grass. See what I mean? And they're saying that we're going to get 6.3 tons or 51,000 liters just off 2.43 acres so if we've done four acres that's a hundred thousand liters of grass already that we're gonna have so what i want to do also is i talk until it hits nine o'clock i want to start with like 50 cows each that's what i want to start with since these both hold so much 
That way we can start getting slurry and manure and everything quite a bit all at once. All right, and I'm not going to play this robot thing. I'm going to feed the cows here. So, yeah, on that note. All right, everyone, so be sure to look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, share, 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 and hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when Fury drops a video because I'm all over the place anymore. Be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And please, please, please join us on Multiplayer Tuesday, which is tomorrow. No, today's Sunday, which is in a couple of days. I'm getting excited about it. I never did find out what that is. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep bunking with that. And on that note, everyone, I'm going to catch you all on the flip side. When we come back, we are going to be exactly right here. Please, please, please don't get frustrated with me about how slow it's going. This is how we're going to play it. It's going to be exactly where we left off, and we're going to use realistic tractors and sizes and everything like that. No more 300, 400 horsepower for, for a mower. I mean, as you can see, I'm mowing at proper speeds with a 150 horsepower tractor. So, on that note, everyone, I will catch you all on the flip side, and we will see you all back here tomorrow. Have a great one.